Hello, guys. As we know, Tango Slicer macOS version 3.0 has already been released. In this video, we will walk you through new functions and improvements of this update. First, we updated the function called Filter Small Shells, hollowing apart may lead to multiple smaller shells. These smaller shells could be trapped inside the part, causing failure of printing or cracks on the model during post-curing. That's where this function comes in handy. Go to Modify Hollow, tick Filter Small Shells and confirm. Then all the small shells are removed. The second function is perforations of honeycomb. This function drills holes in the honeycomb structure for the easy removal of the excessive resin. To use this function, go to Mesh Honeycomb, tick Perforations. Select the surface and confirm. Before we get into the third function let me ask you this, have you ever had the issue of having too many supports on the part? We know this is a common issue for most users and the third function, self-support hollow will solve this issue well. Go to modify hollow, hollow type, choose self-support and confirm to create the self-supported structure. Self-supported structure can effectively reduce or even remove supports and save support removal time during post-processing. In this update, the trackpad gestures are supported for macOS users. Simply swipe with two fingers to rotate views. Spread and pinch two fingers to expand and shrink the view. Also, part import speed has been greatly improved. Even high-poly models can be loaded quickly which is three times faster on macOS than on Windows. What's more, the rendering speed is further optimized and smoother even for high-poly complex models. That's all for this update, hope you found this video useful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions.